All right, so we're back with another episode. I guess this is episode six or something. And yeah, it's high time. I I'm, I apologize for the lack of uh, sound in the previous episode. That was just really terrible. But I figured it out. Like I just had to rig Foxengo up with my NVIDIA driver sounds thing. And now it seems to be doing fine. So yes, it's high time we continue with this song and perhaps even finish it. We might actually get down to finishing the composition today and then um, um, having to do the minor tweaks and mastering and stuff like that in the final episode. So episode eight, I would say. So let's see what we got. Um, yeah, as always, let's just give everything a listen. I hope I'm loud enough. I'm just turning on monitoring and everything. I could. Okay, cool. Okay, we need to work on that. I'm not going to listen to the whole thing right now because it's going to take up most of the video. Okay, so anyway, let's just think. So this whole transition here looks like a little bit. Now the question is, how do you start bringing in that beat without screwing up the, the side chain? I guess we fuck on and see how it works. Create automation clip. Make a little doopy doop there and just hope for the best. I guess that kind of works. Hold on. Uh, the side chain is a little, a little sudden. I guess we can try and automate one of the amount controllers for this one. Yeah, we could try and... Okay. See if that works. Hopefully it doesn't screw up the whole timeline. Uh, what? The skills on me? Oh, it goes the other way, so it's like a negative. So we need to get this as close to 50% as we can. No, bro, you're not. What? I do not quite understand. Maybe it goes too quick. 
Copy that value. Bring it slow. Paste that value. Delete that value. Okay, cool. No, it's still... Oh, this is if it's an LFO. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, let's just do some uh, trickery here. Select unused. And delete. It just keeps my project neat. <laughs> I'm in a wrapping vibe. Uh, so it's unused. So it seems we don't use this. So we delete it. Same with this. Select patterns by unused. There's nothing on here. Okay, great. Same with this one. It seems. No, there's one note on here. Well, that doesn't matter, does it? What did I just do? What the hell? <laughs> okay, delete all oh, this over. Oh, oh. Cool low. There has to be some kind of way that you can control the amount for this. If I'm not mistaken, there should be some sort of... Oh, here it is. Minimum, maximum. So. Oh, there it is. Cool. Found it. <laughs> cool. this I don't even remember but it might do something I guess exactly that which I needed and then I probably need the opener for whatever this is oh my goodness I don't even know what the fuck I must I must say this this quite this does does drop quite hard. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking is I don't do this a lot, the thinking thing, but let's start off with this for the second drop, right? Same old, same old. Let's move this out of the way. I may have just fucked myself because this is overlapping. Shit. I may have just completely fucked myself. Master Wayne. Okay, cool. This is good. Except I didn't because I was thinking smartly without being stupid. Okay, cool. So we get this one again. How long is the pause here? Two beats. This one is one beat. Move it up. Move it up. Consistency is key. Catching this is key.
like this is where uh, the gray areas comes in with with song making is like you could literally do whatever you feel is right here and i'm actually thinking of checking out a reference song perhaps and just deciding whether or not i want to change the second drop or not because it's already quite catchy you know what i'm gonna do right is one of my old old old, old tricks is oh, but it's not gonna work though because i fucked up did i yes i did oh uh, what i was thinking is i could possibly uh, throw some gross beat in here and do some crazy glitchy stuff but then I would have to reroute the side chain because I did it in the direct channel I did it on the channel itself right I did the for that bass that the side chain is happening right here unless I could put the gross beat in here Oh, well, let's try it. Right? It's all about experimentation in the end of the day, isn't it? Gross beat. Yes, I did pay for gross beat. I am not a pirate. That's kind of cool. Mm, less cool. No, I don't think it's gonna work. Cause this is already quite glitchy. I um yeah, let's not take shortcuts. Let's try and do it the old fashioned way perhaps and usually choruses. You know what? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think on camera, and it's 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 just kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah. I literally think we could just copy this drop. I mean, I don't see any reason why to. I mean, variation is cool and all, but like, how much variation does one really need? I do not know. This is what perplexes me. You know, these are the questions that keep me up at night. How much variation truly is necessary? I love the variation on this. Okay, let's do a variation and we can decide if we want to keep it. Because that's the beauty of it. Right? Cool. Because in the end, we're going to use the lead stuff we don't use. What's my guide on? Uh, D minor. Cool. That's where we're at.
and the lower note thing doesn't work that well. Working out too well so far. Yeah, no, because this doesn't fit at all with the rest of the. Nah, nah, I'm not feeling it, and it's just up to me as an artist, as an artist, to decide whether or not I like it. Hmm, <clears throat> how could we add variation, you see, it is a stubborn bastard. Could I automate this? I wish I could automate this. Hmm. Think Skulk. For now, let's just copy it, right? And we can do all kinds of gibberish later. So. Wow, it's taking me like almost 20 minutes to figure out how to <laughs> how to do this. All right, cool. So now I'm just gonna. The base is gone. Excuse me, what? <laughs> What's happening? What? Is there no kick here? Oh, I forgot to copy the kick for some reason. That kind of works, right? Right? Do you guys agree? <laughs> I mean, uh, there's a lot of like modern songs. I mean, I'm trying to think of like a lot of the songs I've analyzed in the past have um, have the same identical drop in the in the B part as the A part. And I mean, I just can't come up with anything original for this. Where'd you go, buddy? Unless... No. That's delirious. What what guide are we on right now? No boy. No. 
Nah, I just it just it doesn't work. It doesn't. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. So this is the region where we could really get creative, but I'm just not feeling creative. So that's a total of, look, I, I, I've been recording every bit of when I was busy with this track and it's almost been, we've over, we've, we've, we've almost hit the three hour mark now. <laughs> I can't believe it only took me three hours to do this. Holy shit. Two and a half. No, we've already hit the three hour mark. We're almost at three and a half hours. So I guess, um, I mean, the mastering looks fine. It sounds good. I mean, maybe we should just add a little bit of a that upper mid section just needs a little bit of a, a little bit of kissing. All right. This this region right here just needs a little. Sounds fine. I mean, I like this thing being a thing here too. Guess what I want for the intro here? A little, little tail is what I want. So what we can do is just take that first chord. And then we literally already have... Man, this is going to be easy. <laughs> I love how it sort of com comes compoundly easier to do this sort of stuff. Like, especially with a song itself, like... If you're recording a song but I mean even the skill of making music just becomes easier even though it's I mean you're never satisfied really it 
just gets easier and easier, sort of. You get the idea, you get the, you understand the shortcut, sort of. Even though it makes you feel terribly guilty sometimes. What I mean. Beggars can't be choosers. I mean, get rid of that. Reverse it, and oh no. I mean, I bet you could, like, you could literally start it over here and it would not matter at all. I mean, I wouldn't call it my best work ever, but I mean, it's it's decent. We could actually give the whole track a listen again. What's wrong with this? <laughs> Hold on. This is this is not supposed to be the base. This is supposed to be the Oh, I get what it's doing. It's not, it's 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 keeping it at zero.
guess the easiest would be just to get rid of it. Well, I guess that's it, guys. I am. I'm. 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 I'm happy with this. It's not my best work, but I mean, there's not much I can do to improve on this. Instead of like, I don't know how to, uh, what more to add to it, or what more to subtract, or how, how to add more variation to it. It's, uh, it. It. Sometimes you just need to put a track to bed, you know. And I think I had fun with this one. I really did. It was like a really cool thing to see how. Uh, to record my whole process because I made this thing from start to finish in about. I mean, three and a half hours. So, yeah, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed the whole music making making process. I mean, I, I, I've, I, uh, in the process of doing this, I did watch some other people's uh, videos just to see like what what their process consists of. And then with with a lot of other people, it's just like dragging samples and stuff. Like there was no sound design involved in most of their stuff. And um, I, I don't know. I just, I, I enjoyed this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I hope you learned a lot of stuff because um, I would have killed for this kind of resource. I did have similar resources, but not exactly like... I mean, uh, there were some YouTubers who made tracks from scratches, but like they they sped it up a lot. They didn't record the whole process and stuff like that. And I don't know, they they didn't focus as much on, on song structure and stuff like that. Um, so I hope that helped you guys out. I know I'm not an expert at this. I know I'm a, sort of a noob um well at least i feel like a new most of the times so yeah um yeah I, I, I let me go let me know what you guys think in the in the comments and i'm gonna render this bad boy out and uh yeah post it on the channel and everything so cool thank you guys and i will see you in whatever next video we record together cool and goodbye